So would you rather live uh, in the clouds or under the sea? Ooh. Can I vote land? I always dream about dressing mermaids. And I've always hated legs. They're just so redundant. <laughs> Let's do one at the same time. Okay. Um, if you could go back to any historical time period, when would you go? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> if you could invite anyone to a dinner party, who would it be? Dinosaurs. Back-to-back Dinosaurs. <laughs> -back matches. Let's eat to that. <laughs> oh. You wanted to do the romantic feed each other thing. I'll get you on the next one. You know, this is the most fun I've had on a date in a long time. Yeah, me too. Actually, I've never had a date in a, 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 a what do you call this? A cafeteria? Oh, sounds like a disease that cafes get. <laughs> Your world is so fascinating. So is yours. You know, ever since the pizza shirt, I came up with lasagna sweater and spaghetti socks. <laughs> I'm telling you, this messy eater market is huge. You know, I have to admit, ever since I made the world forget everything we know about pants, I've been cursed with terrible designer's block. It's like having to lift a thousand pound weight with my mind and my mind doesn't have hands. Oh no, they're back. I got you. Hey, hey, hey. Chalamet went that away. <laughs> you saved me. Oh. How can I never repay you? I think this is the part where we. I'm what's known as an olfactophile, someone who appreciates the world through smell. And if it's a crime to use our most powerful sense to experience the greatest city in the world, then, madam, lock me up. <laughs> that is not a crime, but you know what is? Hiding under a park bench to sniff butts. <laughs> Three months. Enjoy all the smells that jail has to offer. Ooh, someone got orchids. Flowers, nice. Romance or cat and mouse game with a serial killer? It's happened on both sides of that coin. You know, people say that it's hard to date in New York, but not for me. I landed myself a real catch. Blonde, blue-eyed, talking to you right now. It's me. I'm dating myself. The bouquet of doll heads I got from the Greenpoint Creeper was less disturbing than that. There's just been a lot of changes recently. Dan's gone, I'm not engaged anymore. I just felt like it was a good time to step back and focus on myself. With all the perks of a relationship. Flowers, breakfast in bed, sweet check-in text. Me up? I am. Come over. I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she sees in her. We're all ears, Mr. Fielding. Yes, well, this started innocently enough. Roswell wanted me to help with an investigation of a woman named Loretta whose partner suspected her of cheating. We had a lead. The alleged affair was happening with her workout buddy. So I went undercover. <laughs> I blended in massively, like, like a chameleon in the rainforest, a commando in camouflage. A Chrysler building in a cornfield. Pipe down. You weren't there. You can't text me stuff like that. My finely honed powers of deduction directed me toward her phone, but oh, how to get it? No one was going to hand me the solution on a silver platter. Now lie on your backs with your eyes closed, especially Loretta. I was disheartened to realize two things. I needed her face to unlock the phone, and oh, I should have been wearing yoga pants for years. When I opened the phone, what I saw was so shocking, I, I almost lost my composure. Watch, it, watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Namaste. The suspense is killing me. What was on the phone? Was it a treasure map? Only for you to find out that the treasure was inside you all along? It was a picture of her fiance, Roz. Yes, I thought I was helping P.I. Roz. Turns out I was helping jealous fiance Roz. 
You were supposed to go undercover at her law firm as a man cutting his kids out of his will. Oh, yes, and it was a role I was born to play. But in a great Shakespearean turn, yoga was closer to my building. <laughs> oh, pop, 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 pop. no, more full. The fine print on this one says everything you're writing means the opposite. Oh, run it back. Run it back. <laughs> Linda, I don't remember calling your number. We have all the numbers. <laughs> We're also here filing on behalf of the court. Brian, that's your cue, baby. Mom, don't be alarmed. It's me. I think you'll find that this paperwork is flawless. Flawless. That's a big word. Wait. These are beautiful. <laughs> forms. Subforms, addendums. You even found applications that are no longer in print. I hired a task rabbit to infiltrate the library of discontinued documents in Little Serbia out on Randall's Island. It was almost too easy. What are you guys doing? They just cleaned the door. We're betting on who can tell the difference between glass and air. You want in? Hey, none of that. It's the new clerk's first night. I want to make a good impression. Wyatt is just what we're looking for. He's a law student. He has a lot of life experience. And I'm just going to say it. The guy is cool. You don't get to say what's cool. I've heard you say yikes, yoinks, and yowzers while dropping the same cookie. Well, tonight, I am a human chill pill. <laughs> ah, that's him. OK, everybody make him feel welcome. Dan, smile. But maybe don't show teeth. It's too late. He can hear everything. Just follow your heart. As someone who took chill pills in the 80s, you need a new dealer. <laughs> nice to see you again, Jet Stone. Thanks for the incredibly detailed directions down to the step. Now I see why shoe size came up in our interview. <laughs> Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, yeah. Trader Joe's, 14th Street. I, I used to work the sample station. You're the lady who loops around like six times for salsa shots, then leaves. Nope, never mind, never seen you. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've probably run into all of you at some point. I've had a million jobs. Spin instructor, hotel bellhop. Uh, for a while, I fixed granddaughter clocks. <laughs> there wasn't much of a market. <laughs> But I'm really excited to be here. Who wouldn't be? You know, on the one hand, I mean, the money's not very good. But then on the other hand, this will do nothing for your career. Don't listen to him. You're going to love it here. It's just a breezy, fun, totally normal place to work. We've been hacked. I repeat, we've been hacked. Hand off your devices. Don't worry, I have my whistle. <laughs> no, a whistle is the cue for the up. Very chill. <laughs> the People versus Roscoe Verma. The defendant was involved in an altercation over a jar of pickles at the Union Square Farmer's Market. Mr. Verma instigated a melee that led to him being tossed into a display of Amish gourds. The charges are destruction of property and defiling a pumpkin. Not on purpose. I landed on it wrong. <laughs> hey, Your Honor, the only thing my client is guilty of is enthusiasm. Trevnik pickles are the city's finest, and this was the last jar at the farmer's market. I posit that perhaps the pickle purveyor prompted this predicament by producing and promoting this peerless pickle despite a paucity of product for the pumped pickle public. <laughs> Proceed. This must be some pickle. Got to sample the evidence. <laughs> this pickle is not great. In fact, it's bad. Poor cucumber, what did they do to you? With all due respect, that is the perfect pickle. Clearly, you don't know when you have something fantastic right under your nose. Excuse me? Whoa, your eye is going nuts. <laughs> I know a good thing when it's in front of me. Are you telling me that you would really choose this pickle, forsaking all others for as long as you shall live? I do. 
<laughs> I always cry at weddings. The defendant is charged with illegal gambling and inciting a riot that led to a bus being lit on fire. <laughs> a riot and a bus fire? You were gone for an hour. <laughs> Your Honor, this wide-eyed innocent was lured to New York by a so-called friend who then abandoned her in her time of need. Do you even know what you're talking about? Eh, kind of winging it. Can we just stick to the facts, please? Miss Basket started a sidewalk casino, but it was with the best of intentions. A bus headed to Atlantic City broke down. They wanted to gamble. I took some bets. Then they wanted to get paid. Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> I don't know, anyone? <laughs> Hold on, are you mad at me, Scabs? It's Judge Scab, Judge Stone, when you're in my court. Okay, Dad. A uh, P.S., none of this is even my fault. So you did nothing to cause an 80-year-old woman to throw a lit cigar at a bus? For the record, the cigar was thrown into a garbage can and then the garbage can was thrown at the bus. Yeah, Abby. Not on your side. <laughs> This is just like that time in third grade when you got all mad at me because I told you the only way to win a dodgeball was to catch it with your mouth. I got athlete's mouth because of you. <laughs> and a lot has changed since then. For instance, I'm a judge and you're a criminal. Alleged. Although that seems beside the point, though. I know that what I did wasn't technically legal, but I was pushing boundaries like I do with you. It's why we're friends and you love that about me. I don't love that about you. I don't even like you. But I'm baby Heather. Your Honor, in light of this contentious discourse, I'm wondering if maybe you would consider recusing yourself? Oh, you think? <laughs> Tell me you guys watched last night's episode of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. It was incredible. Three of them realized they slept with the same plastic surgeon. Yeah, I stopped watching after they trashed that Thai monastery. First time a monk talks in a thousand years and he yells, bitches! No uh, television. At least radio had the dignity to just die. Mind if I put these here? Something wrong? Oh, did you let that guy outside take a picture of your feet? I don't care what he says, there's no such thing as a foot talent scout. I don't know. He's the reason why my feet are famous in Japan. I just found out my doorman died. Oh, no. Oh, I'll never forget the last thing Angel said to me. You think CC Sabathia ends up in Cooperstown? Pure gibberish. Should've known he was dying. Wow. I don't know what to say other than... I'm sorry you're sad. Back at the GIF. Oh, drama detected. That phony I'm sorry you're sad was classic housewife's insincerity. Not what I expected from Time Out New York's most huggable judge. Oh, I will hug the hell out of someone when they're not lying to my huggable face. Why do you keep dropping bombs and walking away? She's not upset her doorman died because that guy wasn't her doorman. <gasps> What? <laughs> That's... I don't exactly know what that is. She bribed him so she could have her mail sent to a fancy building and people would be impressed. She's not sad that poor man died. She's sad she lost her fake address. That's a pathological insecurity you rarely see in real life. <laughs> I'm in the show. Only this isn't a reality show. If it was, I'd have a tagline, something like, Watch out, because I'm judge, jury, and sexecutioner. You're right, this isn't a show. Let's start with a hypothetical. You're hanging out with two coworkers when they get into an argument and one of them leaves crying. What do you do? Great question, Jake. When I see an upset coworker, I follow a triage method based on warmth. First level is warm words. Next is a warm hug. Code red is warm cookies. Those hug you from the inside. <laughs> This is why no one looks at you. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Name tags are stupid. You'd handle this differently? First of all, I wouldn't be hanging out with any coworkers, and if I found myself in that situation, I would fake a heart attack. And when they asked me the next day if I was feeling better, instead of answering, I would fake another heart attack. Actually, boundaries are important. That is a perfect answer. Huh, that 
that's fun. Two people can be right on the same hypothetical. No, yours was wrong. <laughs> you like mine better. Yours not at all. We find when employees keep their work and personal lives separate, it makes for a more productive workplace. Well, here we like to blend the personal and work. You can call it personal, or you can call it pork. Both are equally bad. The important thing is, uh, we all feel valued and appreciated. <laughs> oh, I thought that snort was in my head. Jasmine Jennings steamrolls anything in her path. And I don't want to be flat, Abby. Being three-dimensional is a big part of who I am. Can't wait to meet her. Jasmine Jennings, come on down. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, my God. Wyatt Shaw? I didn't know you worked nights. This is why you show up at Drop Off in your jammies. I have court. We'll catch up later. Thank you, thank you. FYI, Bradley Cooper is a dad at my school, and he will sing a song on my behalf. <laughs> the defendant is charged with operating an unlicensed food stand. I was raising money for the school basketball team, so I set up an itty-bitty bake sale. In the main concourse of Madison Square Garden during a Knicks game, blocking the entrance to multiple restrooms. <laughs> with this. <gasps> Shot clock showdown? Never wanted to commandeer something so bad in my life. Your Honor, my client was merely trying to raise money for children who doesn't love children. You. <laughs> and me. If I don't raise money for basketball, some kids might not make the team. Some kids might end up in art club with Jeremy M. M. Woof, I can tell that's not the Jeremy you want. I'm gonna say guilty. 10 hours community service. But I already do community service. My foundation provides nose jobs for at-risk youth. <laughs> Got it. Not all giving is good. All right. I'm gonna take a recess so I could go get some quarters. I mean, go to my judge's quarters. Don't worry. I'm banned from MSG, too. Apparently, they got a lot of rules about touching Beyonce. Truth is, I... I know I don't need a psychic to feel close to him. I see him in everything. Whenever I watch an old noir movie or listen to Mel Torme, bang that gavel, he's right there. Still, I can't help wanting more time. I thought if a psychic could give me one more tick of the clock, just one more second, I wanted it. Maybe that's just not gonna happen. I, you know, I, I don't know. Seems some pretty crazy stuff just in this courthouse. You know, once a ventriloquist's dummy killed itself by jumping out that window. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe somebody out there knows your little code. So what the hell? Keep searching him and just go grab every Ouija-wielding whack job in town you, <laughs> till you find it. You don't think that's crazy? Oh, no, it's certified to be insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes you've got to bet against the house even when you know the game is rigged. Where did, where did you hear that? Well, I don't know. I think it's the first time I've ever put that combination of words together. <laughs> that was the message. What? <laughs> what, you say that I'm Harry's vessel? Fine, fine, I'm a vessel. <laughs> I mean, you know him. Always has to have the last word. <laughs> Can you believe that British weasel holding a grudge for something that my family did 300 years ago? This is America. A man should be hated based upon his own actions. <laughs> I mean, I started as the oil boy frying beignets at Café du Monde, and I've climbed my way up to being a very respected lawyer. A very employed lawyer. <laughs> According to this, some people believe the Elmores were tricked into abandoning their posts so the Duncans could steal the best valet jobs. God, so he's saying that my family were sniveling cowards when all they were were just gullible idiots? If your family studied for years, they couldn't rise to the level of gullible idiots. <laughs> Where did you get that clap? It was in my salad. <laughs> With that slab, you've set in motion a series of events from which you cannot turn back. Yeah, I know exactly what I did. 
What exactly did I do? No, no, no. <laughs> you just challenged him to a valet off. Oh, oh, my God, it's a duel. Dan, you might have to kill a guy. Huh? What? <laughs> Sorry, should have kept reading. It's a duel of decorum. Man, we never get to kill anyone. Why does slapping people with gloves always involve me in the stupidest things? 